modification made inside the hopper really helped to reduce leaking coming out of the back of the auger screw and that little chute really worked good for any that did come out went away and didn't go on the chain and sprocket anymore so real simple solution did the trick on that little issue I noticed that previous bag had a lot less gravel come on stack creek get that shit consistent Yeah, so we calculated um, 20 bags, ended up using 19 80 pound bags. Seems like the 80 pound bags make for a more consistent mix than the 60 pound bags. I think I heard somebody else say that uh, using the mud mixture. And uh, everything went without a hitch, chewed through all the bags, no problem. The whole pour took an hour and 20 minutes, so I guess that's about six minutes per bag, which isn't all that fast. But this is just a uh, research and development project here right now. And that's because the auger is about two inch and the barrel's three inch. So the next one going to be a good bit bigger, like a five inch barrel with a four inch auger or something like that that should step up the output a good bit and uh luckily none of these bags had bad chunks in it so i didn't have any issues there but just in case there were i had that grate in the bottom of the hopper which screened out i think about it up to it or inch and a quarter to inch and a half size chunk if that was chunk was any bigger than that would have caught it and uh yeah worked without a hitch no problems at all did the whole thing <laughs> go
should be it for cleaning it up. Thing works. Now I'm ready for the next step. The bigger one. <laughs> 